Love checking in with our friends over at the Des Moines Public Library. Sue Woody joining us right now because even though the doors are locked at the Des Moines Public Library, there are so many things that are going on that people can get involved with. And that's what we're here to talk about. Good morning, Sue. How are you? Good morning. I'm fine. Thank you. Yeah, tons of things going on in Des Moines at the library, including a bunch of summer reading, isn't there? This is our favorite time of year, Lou. This is our time where we usually are able to connect with our children. We bring them in by in, by the bus load. It's not happening this year. Unfortunately, our doors are still closed to the public, but that doesn't mean we are not connecting with them on a virtual level and a physical level in our curbside service. So there's lots of things that we're doing to help our community right now. All right, you guys are saying you should book your summer, and that's exactly what yes. we're talking about. And that started last week. Tell us a little bit about that. Book Your Summer is our new summer reading program. You can do it two ways. You could do it virtually, dmpl.org through Beanstack. Very easy. You earn badges for reading, doing, and learning and watching. So we also have a, a paper version in English and in Spanish if people would prefer that. You could download that right to your own computer and print it off or pick it up through our curbside service. It's all about keeping those kiddos engaged, learning, reading, and doing. All right, so if we want to book our summer, how much are we reading? Uh, maybe uh, a parent has a kid that wants to get involved with this. How much are they going to be reading throughout the summer? It looks like to the middle of August. Right. Well, we hope that parents and children read 20 minutes a day. The program kicked off on July, July 1st, and it goes through the middle of August. But we want this to be every day, actually, throughout the whole year. So we want people to read and engage. And it, by engaging, what I mean is doing some fun things. And that's different for everyone. Come up with your own fun things. It might be baking, baking some cookies or some brownies. Maybe going outside, taking a nature walk and comparing leaves on different trees or even something as fun as just planting some seeds and watching them grow. Yeah, and of course, the library has all kinds of information and references uh, for those things. Maybe you want to go on a nature walk and find out what those bugs are or what those plants are. You can help them out, can't you? We can. I recommend that you either call us and we will work with you personally or go online and check out some books. You can pick them up through our curbside service, which is a wonderful service that we offer at all of our locations. Now, speaking of curbside service, we just learned this week also that you have expanded the curbside service. Explain what that's all about. Well, we were just open from 10 until 4 at our six locations, but we know that people are going back to work and those do not accommodate many parents and working families. So we are now open at all of our locations on Saturday for curbside service, as well as at least two evenings a week at all of our locations. Mm -hmm. So we're really trying to accommodate those people who need to go to work, but come stop by the library on your way home, pick up a handful of books. And if you don't know what to pick up, We'll, we'll help you make some choices, and we'll just give you an armful of books. You're just help there you to with help. That service. See, Sue, you guys are just there to help. Now, I want to talk about some uh, certain programs that you have going on, some ongoing programs. For example, Grab and Go Thursdays is really neat to help keep the kids occupied, and you have something really neat set up for them, right? Yes, you know what, you just come, we've got some bags full of goodies, they might have crayons, they've got activities. Every Thursday we'll be giving out different go bags, grab and go bags, and they're just things that you could do, they all count every 20 minutes that you spend doing something, you could just put that on your logs, just cross off one of the little rosies. Another way to do this is just go on Beanstack, which is our online version of summer reading, and count that as a badge. So doing, reading, and then watching is the third element. And those are some programs that are very exciting that we offer on Facebook Live and on our website. So much that you can do by watching and doing. Now you mentioned going online. Let's go there right now. Maybe some people need to get online. They use the library as their outlet and their source to have a computer. And you have some computer access times available in a limited fashion though, right? Yes, we do. We recognize that an essential service that the library provides is internet access. And we do have public internets available by appointment at our central library. It's very easy to access. You can access it online, reserving a computer, or just give us a call, 2834152. We will reserve an appointment for you. It's at our central location, 1000 Grand Avenue, and you can come in be on the computer for 45 minutes. After that, we wipe them down and we get ready for the next user. 
an alternative to coming in and using our public internet. If you have your own laptop or your own device, you can come to any of our locations and access our, our Wi-Fi right outside the building. Okay, so you don't even have to come in. Some people wanted to know about that. They, may, they use that as a regular way to, in, uh, to hook up with the internet. So you can maybe be in the parking lot or maybe be outside uh, when it's a little nicer, yes. out cooler wise, and, and do yeah, a little bit of work. Right <laughs> and do a little work, but <laughs> you're, you have access to the Wi-Fi at no charge. Is that correct? Exactly. Free Wi-Fi outside all of our buildings. We've even installed a few more benches to give people a place to sit, preferably in the shade right now. But it's available year round all the time. We have people using that all the time. And you also have a lot of online programs that are going on, too. Maybe you have an interest in gaming or, or maybe you want to see a little puppet show or something like that or have some story times at different times throughout the day and even the early evenings, aren't there? We do. We have so many different offerings online through Facebook Live and through our Facebook feed. We've got stories. We've got science STEM experiments. We've got sing-alongs. We had a concert that kicked off our summer reading program. That's still available to see. The Brazilian Twins did a special concert just to kick off our summer reading at Des Moines Public Library. That is awesome. Those awesome? guys are so cool. But yeah, check out the experiments so you can get your musical glasses and learn about that. Dancing raisins is another topic that's going to be coming up in the next week or so. So you can <laughs> find that out. Now, Sue, people want to get more information about the library. What's the easiest way for them to check it out the easiest way is to just go online dmpl.org we've got all of our information about our our internet our summer reading program all of the databases that we have to offer and let's not forget this is the best time to be reading summertime reading as well as reading while we might be stranded at home for a few more months so keep reading we've got downloadable books audiobooks, e-magazines. They're beautiful. There's so much to access without even leaving your home. And don't forget, you can always pick up that telecommunication device, 283-4152, and find out what's going on yes. at the Des Moines Give us Public a call. Library. We will specialize service to exactly what you need. My, so, Woody, thank you so much. You stay healthy, buddy, and we'll see you next time. My okay? pleasure. Thank okay. you. Same to you. Bye-bye. Don't go anywhere.